but I wanted to start recording now before I forget everything that I was gonna say. I actually wrote it all down anyway. Yeah, but I started watching My Precious. It's a new show. It's on Vicky and it just came out. It just came out in 2023. So I'm super excited about it and it's turning out to be a really, really good show. So I'm gonna recap episode one for you. Episode one recap. So My Precious is a 2023 romantic comedy starring T. Zhao. Ah, I'm so happy. First of all, I love T. Zhao. Anything that he's in, I watch, even if it's not that good. I feel like he does his own voice recordings which I love. I really think, I think that that's his voice. I'm not sure. Maybe it's not. Maybe he uses the same voice actor. I know a lot of Chinese actors use the same voice actor, so maybe he's using the same voice actor, but I've heard him in other things, and I feel like that that is his voice, and I just love it. Um, a lot of people know him from the Chinese Korean pop group. E is it EXO or is it EX? EXO? I don't know. The Y'all know which one I'm talking about. Anyway, he was on that for a hot minute and then he went solo and he does a lot of Chinese dramas um, along with his music career. I think he's a really good singer. I really love his voice, but I love him in some, Korean, in some Chinese dramas. He's so good. And everything he's in, he just crushes. Like, I feel like he has an archetype, you know? Like, I feel like he has a certain type of role that he plays in every single one of his dramas but he always nails it like he's always on top right so i live i live okay so what happened in episode one our protagonist tian tian which by the way i feel like tian tian is such a good name like this is the second time that i watched a chinese drama with this name and i love it it's so cute it's like so like it's like adorable right it's like kai so i really like it Right. Protagonist Tian Tian is a vet who works at her father's veterinary hospital alongside her playful and loving aunt. We love the aunt. The aunt is great. At the same time, we meet our boy Mi. Mi is Tizao's character, uh, who happens to be the VP of a large veterinary pharmaceutical company. It's apparent that Mi is going ahead is going head to head with his uncle for the president spot when his uncle plays a dirty trick on him that lands him in the hospital. While being driven to the hospital by his cousin and close friend, his dog escapes and runs after him but collapses in the parking lot. So this is kind of like the setup to the entire story. The whole point couldn't have happened without the dog following him to the hospital and falling like in the parking lot. Tian Tian is rushing to the hospital herself after receiving a call that her father falls ill. She accidentally enters the wrong room where she finds a body covered by a blanket head to toe. Thinking it was her father, she starts crying and wakes up the person under the sheets. Of course, the person under the sheets is none other than our boy, Mi. So Mi's cousin plays not plays a trick on him but just covers him up with the sheets as he leaves very playfully and then Mi's just sleeping so he doesn't even realize that the sheets are over him in comes Tian Tian and she's like oh my god I'm too late my father oh. and she's like crying and doing all these things and he wakes up and he's like who is making all that noise so he takes off the sheet and then he realizes oh no then Tian Tian realizes that it's not her father and she's like oh my god oh my god Dubuchi, Boisa, Boisa. Oh. it's so funny um and then she like walks out and what's really funny is that when she walks out the cousin sees her and the cousin's like oh my god it's the woman of my dreams and at that point I'm just like oh no is this gonna be a love triangle I really uh, I don't know I really don't like love triangles I feel like somebody always gets hurt and the person who's getting hurt is always like a really nice person like I feel so bad for the one who's not it you know what I mean so I just I don't like love triangles but we'll see, we'll see if it's a love triangle, I'm not sure. Anyway, Tian Tian finally finds the right room and her mom tells her that her dad is sleeping and not to bother him, so she leaves, but finds Carlo on her way to her moped. Remember, Carlo's the dog. 
Um, she rushes Carlo to the vet hospital and tries to find who the owner is. A man walks in claiming Carlo, but she suspects he's actually an illicit dog dealer and tricks him into confessing. At this moment, Mi walks in and hears her trying to sell the dog to this man. But he thinks the vet hospital is part of the illicit dog business and barges in to stop the whole thing. So basically, she's trying to phone record everything and she's like playing it up saying like, oh, like how much would you pay? For, like how much would you sell a dog like this for? Like cut the crap, I know what's going on here. Kind of like pretend that she's trying to buy the dog. And so the guy's like telling her his price and right then and there, me walks in and he's like, what the hell? And like, there's all this commotion and like her phone falls and it like breaks into little pieces, not into little pieces, but like it breaks. And it's like this whole thing. Tian Tian runs after him trying to explain herself, but her phone is broken in the chaos and now has no proof of the whole thing end episode that is the end he drives away and he's like f you you're the worst blah blah, blah. and she's just like ah this is a misunderstanding um i forgot how to what it is in chinese it was like me something wrong. i can't remember i'm like learning chinese and i always try to remember like the little phrases but i can't remember that one anyways he runs off and that's the end of the episode i've already seen episodes two three four i think so i know what happens but at first i was like "Ooh, this is definitely an enemies to lovers trope which is my favorite trope i absolutely love it i don't love it actually more when one person's secretly in love with the other one but like just pretends that they don't like them and the other one actually has no idea and is like why is he being so mean to me what the hell um that's my favorite i don't know if that's enemies lovers i think enemies lovers is like when they both actually just hate each other but i think it's gonna be great uh we love these out the actress is good too i don't know what her name is i haven't seen her in anything but i feel like she's great so far and I'm really excited I'm super excited to watch this there's 40 freaking episodes that could be great or that could be terrible because sometimes when you get to like the 25 episode mark you're like oh, when will this ever be over but knowing T Sao and each episode is going to be full of like tons of twists and turns as they do in Chinese dramas so I'm here for it can't wait for episode two Thank you.